Sargasm blooms could soon be washing ashore on northwest Florida beaches. Many of the sargassum species start attached to the seabed and they have these floats that cause them to come to the surface after they detach and then they float along the surface of the of the water. Robert Turpin is Escambia County's marine resource manager. He says Escambia County is ready to remove the seaweed if it becomes an issue. We deal with, with hurricanes. We've dealt with a major oil spill. Sargassum is, is a natural occurrence and we will right size our response to whatever comes our way. In Okaloosa County, crews have permits through the Department of Environmental Protection to use equipment on the beach to remove the seaweed, but that privilege goes away when turtle nesting season begins in May. Over in Navarre Beach, Tourism Development Director Julie White says sargasm was a challenge for the beach last year. It got so heavy and so thick on our beach here, it was kind of like a few inch deep matting is the best way I know how to describe it. This sand rake is what they typically use to clean the beaches. And it was working at first when we had very little of it washing up, but once it started washing up in big matting and, and so thick, there was a point where at the, it just would not work anymore with this. White says this year they needed to think much bigger. The tourism office here is not taking any chances with this blob. They've retrofitted this tractor with those steel forks up front so that if the seaweed does make its way onto the beach, they can simply and very easily pick it up. Yes, these are our custom fabricated forks that Rick Vance, our beach manager, had fabricated for us. The seaweed may be a disappointment for beachgoers in the summer, but the algae has many positive impacts for our local marine ecosystem. So it's part of a natural system. When it blows ashore in normal amounts, it feeds fertilizer for our dune plants, which hold our island together. So it's absolutely a critical component of our, of our environment. Reporting in Navarre Beach, Brent Carney, WER News.